Hello and welcome to the first tutorial for internet and website development. Um, today I want to show you a basic example of we're going to add two numbers together and calculate the result and print that out to the to the tech into the text box. Now JS Fiddle we will be using uh, throughout this unit. It's a really clever website that allows us to use some HTML, some JavaScript and some styling in our CSS and get a result down here at the bottom right. Now you'll see that I'm starting in the top left. I want to start with our HTML and then in the next tutorial we will have a look at the JavaScript. So I'm just going to start with obviously our opening and closing tags. We should already be aware of what these actually mean and how to use these tags because we, you would have gone through the introductory videos, uh, sorry, PowerPoint um, files. So I'm just going to open my body tag and close the tag at the bottom. Right. So we've got something to work with here. You'll notice the indentation as I'm going along. It's really important in any uh, programming that you indent your code. Um, it just helps for readability and to be able to pick out any errors or, or miss brackets or or anything that you might have um, you might have missed along the way. Okay, the first thing I want to do is add an input. Now. We know what uh, inputs are, so what I'm going to explain here is that we're, we're making a text box and I just want to type um, text in here. My type is going to be text. Okay, There are different types that we can use. This one here is obviously a text box, so that's what I want to use. Now the ID is just setting it up so that um, it's unique, basically. Okay, the ID is for identifying this um, this, cert, this particular input, and I want to have the name as the same thing. So I'll just use value one. Okay, and then of course I want to close it off like this with my uh, forward slash, and then I end the tag, which ends it there with the um, that sign. Okay, so I have my first input. If I did run that now, I'd see a text box just sitting there. But what we actually want to do is add another one in. So I'm just going to copy that because it might, our second text box is going to be very similar. Now I'm going to change that to value 2. Same thing for the name. Okay. And now we've got our two text boxes in there. Okay. So let's, let's, let's just copy that again. I'm just using an example here from the internet. Um, right, I'm going to copy it a third time, but we'll change what we need to here. Okay, so the third one is going to be our button, because what we want to have is a text box, another text box, a button which calculates, and then a third text box to show the result. So the button, I'm going to actually, I'm just going to use a name and my name's going to be just simply submit that's what we're going to call it and okay my value which I don't have in the top is just going to read calculate now what that'll actually do is on my button itself it'll put the text calculate on on the button Okay. If it was a text box, it would it would actually just put the value, that particular value there, if that was on text box, in the text box itself. So you can actually start with a default value. Might actually show you that in a second. The, the crucial thing here, though, is we we actually want to run a function from this. So I'll show you what we're actually doing. On click, we're calling it add numbers, and we'll close the inverted commas there. So what we're saying here is that when we click this button, we're using an on-click event. Now, there's a whole heap of events that we'll actually go over, but we could have something like on mouse over, which means that simply if we if we roll our mouse over it, it will run this particular function. But I just want an on-click for this uh, example. So I'm 
making a new function name here called add numbers and what I want that to do is once I click this it will actually run my JavaScript function called add numbers now the brackets um, we're going to go over that later on we can actually add things in there to pass to our function but we won't go into that yet the last thing that we want to do is add a result um, text box so Our ID, we're just going to make call it answer, and we'll we'll just copy and paste that into the name as well. So we have our final text box. Now, if I run that, okay, using this button up here, it's exactly what we we're wanting to do. Okay, it doesn't look great. Um, remember, we can use our CSS to style these things, which we'll have a look at later. Uh, but what we've what we've done is we've actually got our our value one text box, our value two, which is here, and our button, right? And what we're saying is setting it up so that once we click our button here, calculate, which we've given a value, once we click that, we want to we want to run our JavaScript function. And then after that's run, we want our function to actually put our result into this um, text box here. Okay, so next tutorial will actually show you how to uh, develop the JavaScript in order to make all of this happen. Thanks for watching.